Hello guys, Nigel here with you. Another one of my little five minute, well it's going to be five minute ish this one, it's be a bit longer I expect. Uh, one of my little five minute quick tips. Uh, this is a good one for beginners and maybe some experienced modelers, whatever it is either. So, um, as I keep saying and a lot of people keep saying, you want to paint a small item. This is a, a 70 second scale Bandai figure from a Star Wars model. No, I'm not building a Star Wars model. It's just I found it in my spares box to use as a sample for this. It's a small part is what I'm trying to get at. So I will tell you, everyone will tell you, you're going to paint a small part. Up a blue tack, stick your part on a stick, paint it, whatever. You can use it for doing your detail paint, whatever. The trouble is, what do you do with this once you've done it? You can get a piece of foam. You can shove it in there, but after a while you get the bits of, as you can see there, the bits keep coming off. Um, and after a while it becomes no use whatsoever because it's just full of holes, which it becomes one big hole, <laughs> as a, like a big trough. So you can buy stands and stuff, and or you can make one, and all you need is cardboard. Good old corrugated cardboard. Now, the cardboard you use depends on what you've got. So obviously if you've only got the smaller stuff, you'll be restricted to using cocktail, cocktail sticks. But the larger stuff like this is great for these bigger sticks because they fit in there. Even your big sort of rectangular shaped coffee, curve, coffee stirrer sticks will go in there. So, you know, just look for the biggest, biggest strongest cardboard box you've got. Um, as you know, I bought a new computer a while back and the, I've still got the box for that because it's got a few issues. And... Um, just in case and uh, yeah the the box in that is is really good and it's this double layer with the small and the large hole it's perfect so first of all decide what size you want so you're obviously going to be limited by the amount of cardboard you got if you've got a massive box then you can do what you want but um i've only got these two pieces here for now so i'm going to restrict mine to an inch and a half deep because this is well it's just under four and a half inches so i'll go for an inch and an eighth which is like 30 millimetres, isn't it? Um, let's go for 35 millimetres. So we'll go for 35 millimetres. So I'll grab a pencil. Here we are as ever not prepared. So we'll grab a pencil. And I'm going to mark a line here. 35 and then 70 and then 105. Okay, and then we'll do the same up here. So go 35... 70 and 105 and then we can use our rule with a knife use an older knife blade don't use a brand new knife blade for this because once you've done this chances are it'll be no good for modeling and then as you would the plastic card don't try and do it all at once just cut through be careful not to slide up and cut your thumb and you'll hear when it's through because you can hear it cutting the corrugated cardboard then when it's through you get no noise so i'm just going to go along and cut that end in fact i won't bother i'll do that afterwards and then we can come along here come into here okay it's a 35 mil go along there go along there and there we are and then for this one, I'm going to come the other way so that I've got something to rest on. Come along there. Just cut them off. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to cut the end off here like that. Let's just get rid of that last piece. Right, so we've got that. I'll cut the other one off off camera now and then um, I'll come straight back. Right, so that's all cut now. I've cut both of them lengthways. So next thing to do now is square one end up. So what we need to do is, I'm going to use my cutting mat for this. So I can put that on there, go straight along that edge there, and then I can pick up a line here. And I can line my rule up on here and cut a line square on the cutting mat. And that will square up that end. Okay, so now we've got those little bits and pieces there. Chuck those to one side. And then I'll do the same on this one. I think I've already done this one actually. So we'll come along there. Yeah, that one's already done. So we've got one good end to measure from. So what you may decide to do now is um, you may have a small box that you want to put this in, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. 
Um, I would suggest you watch the whole video before you start on yours. Um, you, you may decide that you're going to cut all this to fit inside another box and then it'll all go in there, pack it nice and tightly and job done. So you would actually cut these to the length of your box you're going to put in. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to imagine we don't have a box because not everyone's got a box lying around. So basically I'm going to come along and measure this and I've got roughly 300 millimetres in length. So I could get four out of this. Okay, and then I would go 75, 150, 225, 300, but I'm going to go for three. Okay, so I'm going to go for 100 millimetres. So I'll come down here and I'm going to go 100 millimetres, 200 millimetres, 300 millimetres. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to go 100 millimetres, 200 millimetres. 300 millimeters and do the same on this one 100 200 300 100 200 300 there we go okay so now what we're going to do is Again, get this on the cutting mat. This cutting mat's worn out. Get this on the cutting mat and then get a sort of square along here. And then you can find your 100 millimeters there. And trust me to get it right over where the premium hobby sticker is. So we'll line this up on there again. And then I can place this. Okay, I've done all the heavy cutting, I'm gonna change the mat. So, right now I, I can see what I'm doing. So place that on there, place that on there, okay, get that square, and then I'm going to lightly cut through, I don't want to go all the way through, I'm just going to go like half the way through the card, okay, just like that, all right, then turn it over, again line it up on there, that end's not square is it, I've cut from the wrong side. Again, square that up. I'm going to cut that on the on the back side this time. All will become clear in a second. Let's go down here. I don't want to go right through. I'm only going to go like halfway through. Okay, and then on this end, we're going to chop it off. Chop it off at the 300 millimeters mark. So get the rule square. And drop it off just like so and then we should have three separate pieces with a little cut down there three separate pieces just like that okay and then what we can do is fold that one that way like that and fold that one that way like that okay do the same here fold that one that way 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 and there we have a small block and then we can carry on and do the same on the other one and there we go as if by magic all of them done all cut up and bent <clears throat> so then I found the easiest way to do this is start off with a rubber band oops it all wants to spring out of your hands so start off with a rubber band hold that on there get that round there get that one over there and get that one over there, there you go. All nicely held in place and then you can manipulate it and everything and then we can put some tape on it. So the rubber band on like that. And then we can get some parcel tape. Just like so. Put that over like that. Okay, and then Put that one over like that. Right, and then we can slide the rubber band up out of the way, cut the parcel tape off. Just like so. Do the same on the other side, slide the rubber band up. Go cut the parcel tape. we go 
and then we can come along with our parcel tape and go all the way around all the way around the outside like so sorry I've done work to the top edge not the bottom edge so we can go all the way around the outside just like so just like that as I say it's better if you've got a box to put this into and then using a stick or something we can grab the rubber band out come on or you could leave the rubber band in there but I'm going to take it out and then roll the parcel tape over and voila for the cost of a couple of bits of parcel tape and an old cardboard box you have a stand to put your stuff in remember to put the tape on the bottom or put it into a box otherwise when you pick the stand up everything will just go straight through so um, there we go and if you wanted to you could get another piece of cardboard wrap it around the outside tie it you could glue it whatever you could do it and obviously sky's the limit make a little wooden box make another piece of cardboard fold it around there's a million different things you could do but basically you get the idea you're using the corrugated cardboard on end to stand your bits up and you've got the big ones there for your for your big sticks and you've got your little ones there for your cocktail sticks so you can see you can hold anything you want in there and you can hold hundreds of parts you can hold it and paint them whatever I'd suggest blowing it off to blow any dust off first and then when it's all manky and horrible throw it away and make another one so uh, there we go guys I should be using this one here we are thanks for watching see you all soon I am working on Titanic um, I am working on the um, on the, 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 the propeller shaft still what I'm finding is the sprue goo is so thick it's not even dry after like three weeks or when was the last video I put up I don't know um, that sprue goo I put on is still soft at its core so I'm gonna have to move on to something else to keep you uh, to so you've got some videos to watch I can't just keep you waiting for weeks just for sprue goo to dry so um, I'm gonna put some more tape on this and then I'll see you for the next video bye for now